In this video I'm going to show you how to add a title to a matplotlib graph. In the last video we took a look at this computer program here and these two lines will import pyplot and numpy respectively. On this line we create a numpy array and on this line we calculate the value of y for all of the values in the numpy array and here we then plot using the two arrays that we've created and then this ensures we show the graph on the screen. Now when this program executes what we're going to see is the following straight line graph. If you are unsure as to how this program works look back to the previous video where I covered it in detail. What I'm now going to do is to add an appropriate title to this graph and that's done with the following bit of code as you can see here. I'm using PLT as defined here and I'm invoking this title and I'm passing in this string and what this will do it'll if I put it into the program in the appropriate place give the graph you're looking at a title and the title will be this string here. Well this is the computer program I've just amended and you can see on this line that I've placed in the statement that I showed you on the previous slide. Now when this program executes what we can expect to see is this and if you look here you can see that it says graph of y equals 2x plus 1. Now that's the title and that title has been taken from here where this is the argument to this here now consider this program statement here. You can see I'm still using PLT full stop title. I'm still passing in this string here, but I now have another argument that I'm passing in. Font weight is assigned bold, and you can see the bold has appeared in quotes. Now if we place this into the computer program as way of amendment, we'll have a look at what this does. And I think it's going to be pretty obvious what it does. But let's nevertheless have a look at what it does when the program executes. You can see on this line that I've made the amendment font weight is assigned bold and when this computer program executes what we're going to see is the following and if you look at the title you can see it's now the same string but it's bold. Let's emphasize the point by putting both outputs side by side. We can see that this was the first program statement I used to place the title on the graph and what we would see is this and there you can see the title. I then amended it to this where I now include font weight is assigned bold and if we have a look at the output that this gives us you can see it is here. Now if you look at these two you can clearly see that this one here is bold and you would expect it to be because that's what we did here by passing in this argument. Now there are other arguments we can pass into title. Let's consider this computer statement here and you can see I'm passing in left to LOC which stands for location and this is going to be the location of the string graph of y equals 2x plus 1 which you can see here is in the center of the graph. If I now amend the program and place this in instead of this what you will see at the output with reference to the title is what you can see here and have a look at the position of the string and you can see it's been moved to the left. Let's consider another amendment by passing in another argument to title and I'm going to show that using this and look carefully and you can see here I'm making color assigned red. So when this program executes when we use this instead of this one here what we will see at the output is what you might expect. We can see the title is now in the color red. Let's have a look at passing in another argument to title and you can see here I've made the font size equal to 20. Now when the program executes with this program statement what you will expect to see is this and if you look here you can see that the size of the font is bigger than it was here which would have been the default size for the font when using title. 
Let's now consider the following amendment to the programme statement that's bouncing into position here. And you can see that I'm still using title. And this is the title that I wish to be displayed on the graph. Here you can see I'm setting the font size to 20. I'm setting the colour to blue. And I'm setting the location to right. Now if you look within the brackets you can see that all of the arguments have been separated by commas and when the program executes that has this program statement what you are going to get is what you can see here. And have a look you can see that the string graph of y equals 2x plus 1 has been taken from here. The font size is 20 consequently you can see that this is bigger. The colour has been set to blue, and obviously if you look at this you can see it's blue, and the location is right. And of course look at this string and you can see it's been moved to the right of the graph, whereas this one up here you can see is clearly in the centre. So it is possible to pass in a number of arguments as illustrated by this example, and in this example I've passed in four arguments. Rather than spread out all of the arguments on one line as you see here, the line can become rather long. What you can do to make your code a little bit easier to read is to do this, whereby you can see you still have the brackets and within the brackets you still have the four arguments and you can see that the commas have appeared in the appropriate places. Now when the program executes with this program statement you're going to get the same output as you can see here so it is possible to make your code look a bit easier to read by doing this instead of this up here now bearing in mind this is just an introduction to show how you can place titles on a graph and how you can alter their look in terms of their font size their color and their position against the graph that's been drawn. There are better ways that I'm showing here where you can set up styles, you can set up dictionaries for the way in which you want your title to look and this is something I'll be coming on to in later videos in this playlist. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.